Game changer. If I told you to think of a car with only that phrase, what would come to mind? The Ferrari F40 is one of the first to break the 200 mile an hour barrier? The Mazda MX-5 with its cool following from all angles? Or maybe the Ford Model T, being able to give what seemed niche to the mass? Then what if I told you to think of a car from this decade with that phrase? Seems kinda hard, right? Well, let me give you what I think. The Chevrolet Corvette C8. Before I get into why I state this, let's remember some previous generations of the Corvette. The first generation, released in 1953, was a two-seater front-engine roadster design suggested to its European competitors. In simple words, it flopped. Just over 300 units were sold due to lacking in power and luxuries. However, this did give Ford the idea to build a two-seater to compete, and in 1955, the Thunderbird was released. Not going to beat about the bush, but it passed the vet by a mile in sales. Although, the Thunderbird became more and more of a luxury car to the point it became a four-seater and it couldn't really count as a sports car to compete with the Corvette. In 2005, the sixth generation Corvette was released and there was already a competitive mind at the time. From Detroit's Connor Avenue, the Dodge Viper. These two cars started a rivalry that lasted two generations, making them the epitome of the American sports car. Low cost two seaters with big engines and long bonnets up front, manual transmissions in the middle and rear wheel drive under the short decks. However, as they say, good things come to an end. Due to incompliance of the safety regulations, poor sales and closure of the Connor Avenue plant, the Viper ended production in August 2017. Going back to that phrase, game changer, well why the C8 Corvette? Think about it. The Corvette was such a platform, it gave other companies the chance to compete against it. Now that the competitors have gone, or adapted to different demands, the Corvette is now on its own with no beeline. In order to keep it going, it now has to follow a beeline, similar to its class, thriving with competition. None other than the Europeans. In order for that to happen, things had to change. The most significant being a mid-engine configuration. This did spike controversy, however it seems the right thing to do. Having most of the car's weight as centralised as possible while pressing over the driven wheels allows for better response, easier direction changing under braking, and better acceleration and stability on corner exits. It's a no-brainer that some of Europe's best sports cars are this way. Another change is the powertrain itself. Gone was the supercharged pushrod LT4 for a new naturally aspirated dual cam LT2 V8, giving out 495 horsepower. It may not see much, but sacrifices had to be made to get the right amount of balance. Not only that, the LT2 offers a dry sump oil system which offers lubrication even during the heaviest of cornering. Pair that with the dominant transmission of the, of the dual clutch semi-automatic and it makes sense to link this car with that phrase. It may have 495 horsepower, but it can deliver a 0 to 60 time of 2.9 seconds. 2.9 seconds. Putting that into perspective, a 700 horsepower Lamborghini Aventador does the same 0 to 60 time. There were potential candidates to go up against the Europeans beforehand, but they would seem to fall in terms of refinement. The C8 is the right candidate to take them by storm. With stats as mentioned, this Yank underdog won't be able to just lock horns with the Mercedes AMG GTS, Aston Martin Vantage or Porsche 718 Cayman GT4. It will be able to put up a good fight with the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, Audi R8, Lamborghini Huracan and the McLaren 570S. The cherry on top is that the Corvette can do all this for the equivalent of £55,000. I ask again, game changer. If you were to think of a car this decade, what would come to mind? Would it be the Chevrolet Corvette C8 after this video? Well, I hope so. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is my very first video uh, on YouTube, so support would be highly appreciated. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree with me or disagree with me. I'm okay with going into a discussion. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.